Hey, I'm Nick, and today I want to really highlight how it's not only important to develop yourself mentally and develop that discipline and work ethic, but to also dabble in some hobbies and actually build your character. You see, your discipline gets you to where you want to be. If you imagine a goal or a place you want to be in the future, that can really only be achieved with the work ethic and discipline that you build up yourself. And so a main thing should be developing your discipline, developing working hard on things and being productive. But what we also need to remember is still an important thing is having actual character because there's no point getting to a high point in life if you're just shallow and just work all day and can't actually have any emotion to enjoy where you're at. As worst case scenario, you're at some kind of important meeting or whatever and you're not actually able to articulate yourself in a more human way and you're just concerned about work, work, work. Without character, you're not actually able to talk to anyone. You can be as developed as you possibly can be and have all these great systems that you've made yourself and you're so productive all the time but when you finally get free time maybe with a friend or a person who you really like then you break down and you're just left with not actually being a person but more just a machine that does work and that's it but in general your discipline is your work and on the other side of the coin is your actual personality and your personality is your actual stuff that you enjoy from your heart and what that would look like is your hobbies your hobbies decide what your character is so therefore if you haven't already you need to figure out some hobbies to be able to do and get good at in our free time after we've been super productive but of course if you're like me and you don't really see any point in just doing something for fun and you're just focused about being productive all the time and trying to work on systems and try and get a lot of results and really focus on your goal, then we still need hobbies. We still need something to talk about that isn't just work. And so hobbies range from everything. In fact, the stuff that you do for work, someone else may do for a hobby. If you're obsessed about becoming a software developer and you make yourself sit down and work and figure out how to code then on the other hand there can be someone who just legitimately enjoys it and their hobby is that they like computer stuff or you could be someone who thinks that they need to practice basketball and they're becoming trying to get as good as they can be on basketball but there's the other guy who just does it for fun and may not be as good as you but when it comes down to it when they're out of the basketball court and they're just talking what they do they say oh yeah I like playing basketball while you on the other hand would be oh I'm really productive and I work really hard at doing basketball without any emotion behind it but the thing is we don't need to have emotion for our hobby it helps to have emotion to make something more like a hobby but if we're just focused about I'm going to make this thing my hobby then it's something that we're not going to obsess over and just dabble in in our free time and maybe only level up the skill if we are legitimately interested in it but at the end of the day if you're still struggling on how to build your character then one of the best ways to do it and what is basically human nature is to just copy what you enjoy or what you think looks cool if you see someone who's playing the guitar and you're like damn that's a cool thing i'm interested in that I actually have the gut feeling of I want to be able to be like that guy then go out and learn how to play guitar because at least then you'll still have some kind of emotion behind it or if you see a guy who's really confident and suave in his speech and he looks like he knows what he's talking about then dabble in the things that he knows a lot about and form a well-rounded opinion on all the matters so that you're actually able to come across as confident and suave like the other guy. It's just built in to be able to adapt to what we see around us. So the next time you're walking around in order to build that actual character that is separate from you being productive, the other half of yourself should be someone who has a hobby, someone who has interests. And that can simply be discovered by figuring out by walking around, by seeing someone doing something, are you interested in that? Are you 
fascinated with how they're able to do the skill or whatever. And then just in your free time, when you've been productive, work on yourself and work on your hobbies. That's it for today. However, if you're still interested in learning anything more about productivity tips and tricks, I've now started one-on-one -on -one coaching, which you can book a call for using the first link in the description below. But until then, see you later.